So, Scalar 3's Arrange page is a game changer. So I've already got my main track with my main chord progression. I've got a bass line that's following that chord progression. Let's add a third track. Let's add an arpeggio. Double click to load it. Again, it's gonna take that felt piano, but let's go ahead and load up a different instrument. Analog Lab 5, choose a preset. Pretty straightforward, right? If I click on this track, not only do I have controls now, just like a DAW where I can shorten it, move it around, and so on. By the way, Control-Z works just like any other program. I have all of these controls at my disposal. There's the density control. So watch what happens to the amount of MIDI notes in this arpeggio while I mess with this perimeter. We're getting more negative. We're getting less. It's more sparse. Scalar 2 didn't have that. Length. This is how long the notes are. You can see we can make them super cut or super long. Imagine with these overlapping, if you have something with glide or legato, double click sets it back. We can also rotate and we got our voicings as well. But this next thing is what really blows my mind. If I take these scissors and let's say right here, I've essentially made new clips within this track, but I can actually adjust these independently now. If I wanna change the timing here, you'll see that it's changed. Maybe I want to adjust the range here or come down and adjust the density. Is that not amazing? It gets even better though. Let's go ahead and bring this over. If I click right here, I can actually change the entire arpeggio pattern. And then still adjust. And we can do that to as many of the slices or clips that we make on this track. And that's the same thing with anything we load up here. The baseline, for example. I can come in and maybe put a melodic bass for the end. The sky is truly the limit here. And the last note here, before we wrap up, is the main track. So let's say I've got multiple tracks here, I've done all the editing I want, but I wanna change the chord progression. It is so simple. I come in here and let's try sad ending. I'm just gonna select all those, bring them down. Now I've got that new chord progression, and all of the tracks and all of the editing that I've done in the arrange view has been updated and will follow that new progression. Now, just like I said before, there is so much to cover with Scalar 3. We're going to cover it all right here on the channel. So like, subscribe, comment, you know the drill. Let me know what you're most interested for me to check out and show to you before the release.